So Truex for Roosevelt Elk are going to be released on June 3rd, and I wanted to get a guide out for you guys to hopefully help you get a Legacy Diamond Rack if you haven't yet. I wish I could have got it done sooner, but I had a lot to learn myself about them. That's ironic. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go over the best times to hunt them, the best areas to hunt them, and hopefully give you guys a decent chance at actually getting that. So the way that elk interact during the daylight hours breaks down like this. From 5 a.m. to 9 a.m., they are drinking uh, immediately after that, from 9 to 1300, they will go feed. After that, from about 1300 to 1700, they will rest. And after that, they will go drink again from about 1700 to 2100. So you got two windows to hunt them in their drink time. And the feed time is not bad. Rest zones I don't recommend because they're usually back in the brush. And feed zones tend to be like that as well. But sometimes they're a little more in the open. So the best time, in my opinion, is 5 to 9 because that's the longest daylight window they're going to be drinking. But if you get a server that's like late in the afternoon, if you're doing multiplayer, you could wait until that 1700 window and try to catch them drinking then. So now we're going to go to some of my favorite spots, show you guys where I'm finding most of my elk, and hopefully give you a decent idea of where a good number of elk can be found in a fairly short amount of time. So the first spot we're going to look at is up here in Norden, and the first three areas we're going to look at are areas where you can spawn and then actually hunt for a little while and not just jump from spot to spot. So this is a really good spot. There's almost always elk here in the early morning. All these areas are going to be from 5 to 9, by the way. Uh, and yeah, you've got this first lake, and then if you just head south, I think it's about 800 meters, something like that. You've got another lake, and that one tends to have elk as well. Now, you'll notice some of these, maybe I'll only shoot females. That doesn't necessarily mean at that spot there's only going to be females. It does depend map to map. But if you see me shooting elk there, it's probably a decent area to at least check out, because you might have a diamond there. You never know. But the next location is the High Lake and Calburn River Run, and you can see all the hunting pressure up through there. Those were all elk. It's a really, really good spot. I don't think I'm going to show all the elk I shot during that, just in the interest of time, but you just get a lot of elk. You see a lot of quality ones. It's a it's a definitely good run to do, and I think it takes like 30 to 40 minutes. So as long as you're starting like 5, 5.30 in the morning, you'll have the entire time being active for elk drinking, and you are guaranteed to see a really good number of them. So that's a spot I recommend for sure to check out. As I said, make sure you have a little bit of time to make sure you're going to be able to have all of the uh, time that you're hunting actually active for drinking, but it's an excellent spot. And for the last of the areas that has multiple spots to hit in one run, we have this little Norden Lake run, and I think this one takes like 20 to 25 minutes. It's another one that's really, really good. Got a lot of elk up through there, and just another spot that I definitely recommend, and I don't think this one's hit very often in multiplayer. I rarely see hunting pressure up here. So if you've got the proper time for elk to be drinking, and if you're doing multiplayer server hopping, this might be one to check out for sure. I really, really like this spot. As I said, a lot of elk, a lot of quality. I definitely recommend it. So next we're going to focus on three spots that you can really quickly get to. So just like fast travel to an outpost and within a couple of minutes be to the spot and check in for elk. And the first one is here in southwest Runaki. So what's interesting about this spot is it tends to be an area that just seems to spawn really high level elk. There's been a lot of level 5 elk shot out of here, a lot of level 5 blacktail as well. So if you're looking for a diamond true rack blacktail, uh, this is definitely a spot to check. But yeah, there's usually a herd or two of bulls around this lake, and it's really, really quick. I mean, this is definitely a spot to check on your own server, every multiplayer map you go to, because it just takes next to no time, and it can definitely be a pretty high reward. Next we have Chila, and I'm calling this one spot even though I do have two lakes actually shown. It's mainly because a lot of times I don't check the one further to the west, but it definitely does tend to have elk there. So I would recommend it, especially if you're really grinding for a diamond elk right now. Checking every spot you possibly can is definitely a good idea. Uh, on my map where I did this, I only had females at both lakes. I've definitely had males at both. One of my diamonds was shot at the eastern lake there. Uh, so that one for sure check, and that's actually why I have it as one spot. It is right there by the outpost again, like a 400 or 500 meter run, and you're there. And finally, the last spot that I want to look at is here in Willapeg. And this is a spot that I really didn't hunt all that often until recently. But it's actually really quick. You got that lodge right there that you just head down to the water. And there tend to be a lot of elk around there. And this was a first for me. While recording this, I had a level 5 elk just come strolling right by. Right to where I was going. So this is actually the same spot where I had the level 5 Trek elk. Which is why I went here for this. And yeah, maybe this is kind of like that spot down in southwest Runaki where it tends to be an area that spawns really big elk. I don't know. But to have two level fives there, one true rack and one not, is definitely encouraging to check that spot out. And like I said, really quick run down from the outpost. You got it right there. And yeah, for the first time while recording a tutorial on how to do something, I actually got exactly what the entire point of the tutorial was for. So 
that was pretty cool nice little 975 elk and we're actually going to end it there so if you have any other locations you would like to share please leave them in the comments below i'm sure a lot of people here would appreciate it and yeah just let me know if this works i know a lot of people were saying that the diamond whitetail guide helped so i hope this one will as well and yeah thank you guys for watching good luck on your diamond legacy elk hunts and i'll see you next time